This lecture is on heart sounds. So, the sound that the human heart makes is often described as sounding like lub dub. So I'm going to tell you then what is happening with those two separate sounds. So lub then. When the heart is relaxed, which is during the period known as diastole, the one-way valves between the atria and the ventricles are open. So the heart's relaxed, you have blood coming into it, and all of these valves then are open. And these valves, the valves between the atria and the ventricles, then, are called, very handily, the atrioventricular, or AV, valve. And blood flows from the atria into the ventricles. And then When the atria contract, still more blood is forced into the ventricle. And then the ventricles contract and the pressure of this Contraction then closes the AV valves and this produces the 
the blub sound. Okay, so what did I just say? It goes like this. You have the blood flowing into the atria and then down into the ventricles freely. Everything is fine. But then you have the atria contract. And when the atria contract, then you wind up having the blood forced from the atria down into the ventricles. But you do not want the blood flowing back into the atria. So then when the ventricles contract, that actually forces shut the AV valves, these valves that were allowing this nice flow of blood between the atria and the ventricles, those valves slam shut when the ventricles contract, and that slamming sound uh, is what makes the lub sound. So then there's the dub sound. So when the ventricles contract, that has forced the AV valves to slam shut. But at the same time, when the ventricles contract, pressure forces open some one-way valves, and all the valves in the heart are one-way when they are working. And because these valves get opened up, then we wind up having blood that flows from the ventricles into the arteries. So you have the ventricles contract, and that forces blood into the arteries. There are valves there that are governing that flow. So again, it can only go in one direction. So then, when ventricular contraction ends, these ventricular, known as semilunar valves, slam shut. And this prevents blood from backwashing, going backwards, basically. This prevents blood from backwashing back into. Heart. And so again, 
Here we have valves slamming shut and that slamming shut. That slamming shut event pen is the sub sound that can be heard with a stethoscope. So those then are your two sounds in both cases done by valves slamming shut. So if any of the valves or The septum, the center of the heart, basically, become damaged. The leak or backflow will occur. certain times during the heartbeat. And this creates a phenomenon you have probably heard of. Maybe some relative of yours has this problem. When you have this kind, these sorts of leaky valves, then this produces an abnormal sound, and that is what is called a heart murmur. So a heart murmur is basically leaky valves. Now for a few other terms that you need to know, when the heart muscle is relaxed, this is called diastole or diastole depending upon who you ask. Now the important thing to keep in mind about the heart is that it's a very active muscle. It contracts, but then it rests, and then it contracts and then it rests. It has this period of relaxation after each contraction. So that period of relaxation then is called diastole. And then when the heart muscle contracts, The period of contraction then is called systole.
And another useful piece of information then, the tiny electric current. that is produced each time that the heart contracts can be detected and Recorded, that's an E, detected and recorded on a machine. And this recording then, this is an electro Cardio gram or E C also sometimes referred to as an electrocardiogram with a K, an EKG. And that is simply because the Germans were also hard at work on electrocardiograms and they spell cardio with a K. So you may see it as abbreviated as either ECG or EKG. In either case, it stands for electrocardiogram and that's just this little electric signature that a heartbeat will give. And that is the end of this lecture.